bitch think I'm gorgeous. My time for this tour, this bitch I'm pushing me, just can't afford it. What up with every what it what it do everybody what it do what it do It's your boy Cuddy Cuddy Slim and um I wanted to talk to y'all about some things today that have occurred over the weekend and as you look at the title which says Little Boosie says that there's not any bad bitches in Shreveport, Louisiana anymore. The city is hauled out. The city is, is falling down, it's going to pieces. No good looking women there whatsoever. And I'm assuming this happened over the weekend at a concert that him and Yellow Beezy which is the Dallas, Texas local rapper, had there this weekend at the Hirsch Coliseum. Now, before I get into all this right here, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man. That way people can tune in and see what's going on. You can hit the dislike button at the same time. It doesn't matter. You also can set some comments down there to give me your feedback on what you think. But this is my take on the whole situation, and we're going to go from there. And also, Cut Occasion the Kickback Podcast Show is relaunching season three, the rebirth. Me and King George TV will be back with that ASAP. But for what I have for you right now, I'm not going to hold you long. I'm not going to hold you long. But as the title says, Little Boosie, or Boosie, that he's not little no more, says that Shreveport, Louisiana has no bad bitches anymore. Now, you would think with having Yellow Beezy doing a concert with you, it would bring not only some people out, because Yellow Beezy is a hot artist at the moment. He's young. But you also would think that the quote-unquote bad bitches would come out too. But little Boosie, this is what I have to say to you, man. This is what I have to say to you, little Boosie. Your music is the mirror image or just say it this way, the audience that you bring to your shows or your concert are the mirror image of your music. So if your concert is having busted, old, dirty, ratchet whores or bad bitches, you want to call them, show up to your shows, then maybe you need to change your fucking music, man. Maybe you need to upgrade your style of flowing um, you need to cup, you know, step the game up, man. If you continually make bullshit ass old ratchet music, you're gonna bring old ass busted ratchet hoes out there. Now, here's the killing part about the situation or what he said. There were some women or females, not women, there were females offended, offended, there were females offended by what Lil Boosie said. First of all, do you want to be a bad bitch? Do you want to be considered a bad bitch, especially from a guy like Boosie? Lil Boosie, do you want a bad bitch? Do you want an educated woman? Do you want a sexy lady? Do you want a lady that got some type of guidance, goals in her life? You know, she's set. She's beautiful. Has a good mind. She's not aggressive. She doesn't try to out-talk you, out-drink you, out-smoke you. So apparently that's what you want. You want a bad bitch like that. But the sad part about it that there were females who got offended by him saying that. Once again, you only bring out what your music put out there. 
Your music only set for busted, old, ratchet, ratchet, bad bitches. Bad bitches. I don't want a bad bitch. Of course, the, you got all kind of women you can have fun with or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I do not want a bad bitch. Let's rewind again, though. Let's go back. He said that Shreveport doesn't have any bad bitches anymore. I will say this. Most of the nice, attractive women, intellectual women, that have a good life going on with themselves, they grew out of going to club, club shit, and young, young events, events that involve young people or the crazy people. So those women that you consider bad bitches, those are not the bad bitches you want because those are not bad bitches. They are beautiful intellectual queens. They have their shit together. They don't want to go nowhere with niggas pulling out guns. So you're going to get the busted and disgusted old ass ratchet bitches because that's what your music exposes. That's what you are catering to. Now, if you was Drake and made songs like Drake or Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole, you would have those attractive intellectual women at your show, not those bad ratchet bitches, right? So on defense to the ladies of Shreveport, there are some beautiful women in Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't live there no more. I'm from there. But I know for a fact that there are some beautiful women in Louisiana, or Shreveport, I should say, because I still see them on my timeline on Facebook or other social media uh, outlets. Not only that, I have beautiful sisters, aunts and cousins, ex-girlfriends that still live in Shreveport, Louisiana, who are nice, attractive, educated women. And then again, you have... Some of the attractive, educated women, or just just say the bad bitches you were looking for, they migrated to another city. They moved to Dallas. They moved to Houston. They moved to Atlanta. Who knows? I mean, you only, they say you are what you eat, right? Your audience is what your music is then. That's all it is, man. You are what you eat, and as far as I'm concerned, the type of music you put out, I'm not expecting no attractive women to be there. The type of energy that your shows bring, I'm not expecting attractive, nice lady, pretty much you saying bad bitch, the, the bad bitch you looking for, I'm not expecting them to be there. So on behalf of everybody from Shreveport, man, I feel sorry for the ones that, uh, the females that, that took offense to this shit. Because you you know bigger than him. And I seen the fucking picture. I seen the uh the glimpse of the show. They didn't even fill up the Hearst Coliseum. Him or Yellow Beezy. They did not I wish I had the fucking uh, my boy posted a picture of it. I wish I can show it to you. They did not even have a full crowd. Now keep in mind Lil Boosie last album he did didn't do that big on selling. And I guess maybe he probably saying some shit to get some disturbance. Or maybe to help his sales goes. Stuff like that don't help your album sales. Especially when women buy most of your albums anyway. Or play your music more anyway. I mean, like I said, man. It's your fault that what showed up to your show showed up. And that's all I got to say to y'all, man. It's your boy Cuddy, man. Y'all know me. Sign. Sign and hit the subscription. It doesn't cost to subscribe me. Hit that like button. Leave some comments down there. And it's your boy. I'm out like a fat kid in dodgeball. See you.